Alrighty, what's going on guys and welcome back to another unboxing. We have one, two, three, four, five, and this has got a few in. So we're doing this. Uh, it's my birthday tomorrow as of making this, so I've decided to treat myself and I've spent a lot of money. I'll be the big two, three. So we're going to crack on with this. We're not going to mess around. No messing. So we've got one game in here, just the one. And it is Dishonored for the PC. I do not remember buying this, I will be honest with you. That's the code. Okay. I don't remember buying that, but apparently I did. So I've now got Dishonored on like everything. Because that was on... I mistakenly bought that for PlayStation, didn't I? I've now got it for Xbox. And PlayStation 3. So, <laughs> oops. Oh, well, I haven't got an excuse now. I suppose I've got to play it at some point. I've got it on everything. Uh, this is going to need... This is going to need knifing. So, yeah. With it being my birthday, I decided, why not, you know, I mean, I know I've, I've bought a load of games recently anyway, but why not? So this is another one with uh, one in. And we have here, I believe it's a PC game, it is, hmm, SWAT 3. Okay, so, here's my thought process. I really want Ready or Not. I can't get it this month now, because I've bought too much. So next month, I will be playing through Ready or Not. I don't know if my PC can handle ready or not. We'll have to find out. But SWAT is kind of like the last, uh, the last gen version. You know, realistic, um, that kind of uh, style. Hopefully, this doesn't need a key. I'm sick of this whole key thing. It's really starting to piss me off. But yeah, there's a few games before it. I believe is like SWAT. Oh, I'm going to assume SWAT one and two. That's cool. So yeah, now we have three, um, so that'll be interesting. I would like to play through, you know, I, I would, well, ideally I'd like to play through everything here, but it's just finding the time to do it. Um, it's a lot harder to upload videos from my PC and my phone, so I can only do one at a time. And because the files are so big, um, it takes longer. Uh, I'm, oh, that didn't show, did it? Okay, we're good. Um, which is like the really good thing about PlayStation is that I don't have to do one a day. I can do, you know, seven or eight. So another one with a uh, one in. This is a very thick boy. Oh, okay, cool. So this is Rainbow Six Three. So if you watched the previous, uh, the previous, the disc isn't in the thing. Come on, guys, we can do better than that. So we've got two games in here, plus all the cases and stuff. Yeah, if you watched the previous uh, opening, I did say that this is the reason I have purchased all of these uh, games in the first place. Um, was because of... I need to get over there, both of them. Uh, because of Rainbow Six, because I wanted to play through some of the old ones again. Um, I remember back in the day I played through Rainbow Six on the PlayStation 2. Uh, and yeah, I wanted to play through some of the older ones. Um, and I, well, originally I wanted to play Six Vegas with mods. But then I was like, you know, I can't play the old ones on PC. So that is what I did. Oh, this is not breaking how the label tells me to. A bag of shit. Oh, there's three in here. Jesus Christ, why was that so difficult? So, we have... Yeah, Vermintide 1. The end times. So, uh, if you've been paying attention to the channel, which I would hope you are. There's no manual, unfortunately. That's fine. Um, manuals really don't bother me too much. If you've been watching the channel at all, you know we're playing through Vermintide 2. 
Uh, and I thought, well, I'll get Vermintide 1. I'll give it a go. It'll either be great or shit. We'll try it. Uh, and 2 is really good. Um, I really enjoy 2. We're not finished it as of recording this, but we are close. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So I figured let's get the first one. You know, that'll be cool. The first Templar. Um, so, my thought process with these. Uh, it's brand new. It's brand new. So is this. This is the other game, by the way. Inner Chains. It's also brand new. Jesus. Um, these were actually on a completely different website than I'm used to buying. Or paying on. So, um... Yeah, I saw them. They look interesting. Co-op action adventure game. You know, I'm not going to play a co-op. Portraying a dark and gritty view of the late 13th century. Where old friends become enemies. Corruption spreads throughout the church. And fallen knights oppress the weak. Looked interesting. Worth a go. It'll be terrible or good. And Inner Chains. So this is an FPS horror game. Dark and deadly biomechanical world never seen before. It looks really interesting in the pictures. I'm going to give it a go. I'm hoping it's not going to be trash. Oh, this is a good one. There's a few in here. Music Magpie, by the way, in the UK is great. Although my stepdad did get stuff sent to the wrong address. Um, from Music Magpie. But they're great. They are. They do films. They do games. They do consoles. They do music. They do tons. Um, this is where I get a lot of my, my old stuff from. Not sponsored. Um, just thought I'd give them a shout out. Because that's where I'm getting a lot of my stuff from. But like I said, my stepdad did have problems with them getting sent to the wrong address. So just be careful. I personally have never had any problems with them. Hopefully I never do. Because that would be that would be awful. So, oh baby, there's a lot in here. There is a ton. Okay, so. Oh yes. Oh yes. So I'm getting some of these spoiled. I have, have I, oh my god, I've tits up again, Jesus, right, let's go through, let's go through these ones first, so we've got Battlefield Bad Company, one, not two, one, this is the first one, I don't think I've ever played this, the disc is upside down, that's a great start, But all the manuals, all the slips, all of that cool stuff is there. You know, bonus points again. Manuals, I think they, they add value, but they're not the end of the world to me. As long as the game is there, that's kind of the main thing. And uh, not looking good. Uh, Halo Wars 1. We didn't have this. I thought we did, but we didn't. Yay, and it's in properly. Thanks. Yeah, the case is ruined. Um, that is a bit of a shame, but again, it's not, not the end of the world. Right, let's do this like this then, because we've got, nope, I've just done that wrong. Right, there we go, we'll do it like that. Right, we've got a PlayStation 3 game here, Metal Gear Solid 4. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know what my thought process was here, it was more just like, oh well, that's a, that's a thick boy manual. Um, I don't typically like Metal Gear Solid games, but I did like 5, Metal Gear Solid 5 was cool. However, I got in a ton of like pain in the ass problems with copyright on YouTube, and it's really put me off playing them for playthroughs. But I might get bored and decide to play through them at some point. Um, we will see. Now we've got three Xbox One games here. We've got Battlefield Hardline. That's awesome. Um, it's upside down. The disc is upside down. That's not awesome. But, um, yeah, I never played this. I never played the campaign. I never played the multiplayer. Um, I don't know why I said that was awesome. I was looking at something else when I said it. But uh, I need to check that quick because I've just got an email. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, what are we on? Okay, second game. G.I. Joe, Operation Blackout. I didn't even know this was a thing until I saw it for sale. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. It's upside down again. I don't know what's going on here, guys, but, like, can we put them in properly, please? But yeah, I've never heard of this. I am... Oh, the case doesn't close. That's not good. Why doesn't that close? Um, okay, we might have a broken case. But I've never played it. I'm quite a big fan of G.I. Joe. Uh, I like the movies. The second one wasn't as good as the first one. Um, 
I used to collect the action figures. I didn't read like the comics and all that kind of stuff from back in the day. But uh, yeah, I'll try it. It'd be good or shit. And Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This has been a right pain in the ass for me to get. It's still expensive. Same as Ghost. I'm trying to get some of the older CODs. Because we know we're playing through all the whole series. I believe I have them all. I do have Advanced Warfare on the PS3. I just wanted to get them for the newer consoles. Because it would make my life a bit easier. But it's been a right fucking ball ache trying to get this stuff. It's in Upside Down again. What are we doing? What is going on? Why are we doing this? But yeah, I do own them on console. I just wanted them on yeah, new gens to make my life easier to record them. Because trying to set up and record on the PS3 is a pain in the ass. Um, I do need to get better storage. Like a, a really like a 100 terabyte like storage. Which would make my life a bit easier. But we'll see. And finally, we've got six PlayStation 4 games. So, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Um, like I said, this is one I have played. I did try and play through it, but I got copyright striked. Not striked, but copyright claimed on all of the videos. It's upside down again. What are we... I'm going to fucking pull my fucking hair out. Why are we putting him in upside down? Come on, music, magpie. We can do better than this after I've just given you a shout out. But yeah, I did enjoy that. I have played it. Uh, I did play the multiplayer as well. I quite enjoyed the multiplayer. But uh, yeah, the campaign was just not... And it was... I mean, Metal Gear Solid. I mean, the guy... Konami is such a fucking weirdo. It was just so confusing. Um, Dishonored Death of the Outsider. You know, so seeing as how we keep buying Dishonored, which I can't get, over and over again... We might as well get them all, wouldn't we? So now we have Dishonored, Death of the Outsider. Um, I've never played a Dishonored game. I've, yeah, I've never tried it. So I'm hoping it's going to be decent because I've just bought it and spent money on it. So is it upside down? We've got Dungeons, is that, uh, Dungeons Three, Complete Collection. It's hard not to love it. So we'll see. It's upside down again. Why? Put them in properly. Includes all DLC. Dungeon 3 is the biggest, best, and evilest dungeon sim yet. So that word, dungeon sim. No idea what it means. I don't think I've ever played a dungeon sim. So we will see just how good or bad it is. Yeah, we'll see. Next, Far Cry 5. I do have it on console. Um, I didn't own it on disc. Now I do. The disc is upside down. I do not know what we're doing at this point. I really don't, but, you know, whatever. Um, comes with all the slips and the manuals and all the goodness. Yeah, we've obviously played through everything in Far Cry 5. I really enjoyed Far Cry 5. Um, I thought it was really good. Uh, it's not really worth replaying, so once it's done, it's done. But... Yeah, it was a really good game. Uh, the gameplay was really good. The story was a bit meh, but... Yeah, you know. Let's just carry on. So next, Metal Gear Survive. I've never played it. Everybody hated it. I know it's not very good. It was cheap. And seeing as now I'm buying Metal Gear Solid games, I bought this as well. And lastly, Bladestorm Nightmare. Never heard of it before in my life. It's like a troop commander game, so it's like a Halo Wars Command and Conquer kind of style from the look of it. Control up to four squads of 200 soldiers for increased thrills and greater strategy. We'll try it. It'll either be good or bad. The disc is upside down. Fantastic. So yeah, that I think is a pretty tasty little haul. I'm happy with that. This is my birthday present. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six... 12, 18 games there. Perfect. So, that is that. I need to find space for all of these. This is going to be a right pain in the ass. So, if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe. Let me know about any of this. You know, you guys might know more than I do as to what's good and bad. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm quite happy about this. So I am now going to go and try and find a place to put these because I've got the box next to me and in the next unboxing it's going to be massive. So uh, my phone is going to die. So yeah, we're going to end it there. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments which one of these is your favourite, which one you'd like to see me play. Um, I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, it's been your boy. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.